Many small business owners and those who run professional services often tell me they really, really don't like selling. So today, I'm going to share with you how to sell and get great results without selling and without feeling icky about doing it. I'm going to help you completely reframe how you think about selling and help you make a fundamental mindset shift about sales. At the end of this, you're going to say, wow, I wish I had known this before. This is amazing. I'm Peter Locke from Vantage Coach Business Accelerator, and this channel is all about entrepreneurship and helping transform ordinary businesses into modern, scalable, highly profitable, wealth-creating businesses, giving you a life of abundance and fulfillment. I hope that gets your heart racing, because that's the kind of community I'm trying to grow. So what's the problem business owners experience with selling? It's based on the idea that to get sales, I need to go out there and sell my stuff to someone. Now, here's the bad news. Customers today hate to be sold to. It creates stress for them because they feel they are not in control of the buying situation. And they're having to follow your agenda. They feel it. And you're stressed because you're trying to convince someone who may not really want your service. That's the bad news. The good news is your prospects still love to buy. So your job is not to sell what you have. It is to, it is to help your prospects buy what they want and they need. Now, this may seem like a small point of difference, but it is in fact a huge difference. You see, people don't really care about you or your products or services. I'm sorry to say that, but it is the truth. What they care about is what you can do for them. You see, they have a problem or issue that they don't want and are looking for a solution or a result they don't have. The best way to sell to them and make more sales is to find out what your prospects really need. To do that, you need to start the sales conversation by asking the right questions. Let them do the talking and follow up on their answers. Find out what they're trying to accomplish with a product or service like yours. Then show them how you can help them accomplish what they want using your product or service. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're selling bakery accessories and equipment to smaller bakeries. If you start the conversation with how good your equipment is, how long you've been in business, the range you have, you're all talking about yourself and your products, and your prospect is probably going to be sitting there saying, yawn, yawn, right? But if you start the conversation asking about how the bakery is doing and what they try to achieve, and the baker tells you that he's creating pastries for the affluent market and he wants to be more profitable, but he's struggling with productivity because everything is carefully handmade, which slows the entire process down, and you maybe have a solution or the equipment that could speed this all up without losing quality, now you have his interest and attention. The paradigm shift or mindset shift you need to make is to move from trying to sell to becoming a problem solver. The first thing to do is to ask yourself, so who is it that I serve? And what problems do they have that I can solve for them with my products or services. And when you meet, give them a reason to like you. Talk about things they care about, not your products and services. Engage with them. Help them solve their problems. Demonstrate your knowledge. Build relationships with them. This is an approach that is going to be far less stressful and far more rewarding, both for your prospect and for you personally and financially. It will, I promise you, it will transform selling for you. By the way, if this is the kind of information you like to receive and would like more, check out our free resources page on my website. It's advantagecoach.co.za forward slash free resources. I'll leave the link below for you to access. In conclusion, you don't want to be out there selling your products and services to people who don't really want what you sell. 
You want to be helping to solve people's real problems with your products and services. And when you do, you're going to find you make more sales. If you've learned anything new or value today, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next video.